Hello everybody, it's me, Frenchie, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited. I have a fun video lined up for you guys. Um, what I wanted to talk today about was liquid highlighters. And everyone knows of the amazing liquid highlighters that CoverFX has, which is these. They actually call them custom enhancer drops. Um, but I was scouring the internet and I came across these from ColourPop, which is, they actually call um, crystal liquid highlighter. And so my mind went crazy and I thought, why not give them a try, compare them side by side and see if the ColourPop one would be any type of dupe for the cover effects. Because let's face it, ColourPop is $9 and cover effects is $42, even though it is an amazing product, but it is hard sometimes for just the average person to be able to make such a splurge. So I thought, why not? Let's compare these two side by side. So I did my makeup today and another video um, that I'll be posting soon on this look. It's using all NYX products, so stay tuned for that. Excuse me just burped <laughs> very ladylike but um so but I did not put any highlight on because I do want to test these so I'm going to do one side cover effects one side color pop we'll see now the only other thing is <laughs> will the colors be similar so that's going to be the other thing because from what I saw online with the color pop ones I'm a little nervous about them because it looks like they have more of a white base versus the cover effects that kind of more of a silvery metallic base depending on the color that you're getting so we will see they've done worse things so why not give this a try okay so keep watching and let's give these two a try and see if ColourPop is a dupe for cover effects custom enhancer drops that is a mouthful okay keep watching okay so let's actually start with the cover effects enhancer drop custom enhancer drops I got the color moonlight um, I when these first came out I mean they sold out so quickly because of course everybody online was talking about them and you saw so many YouTube videos about them um, I <laughs> this is why I love Sephora so I go into Sephora and I'm like I'll take a sample <laughs> because I don't have the budget for that and um and i got it and it lasted me forever oh my god but it's such i mean even though the bottle seems kind of small but honestly like this product is so pigmented um and so let me just put a tiny drop like so just so you guys can see but yeah, that little freaking sample lasted me forever. But yeah, look at that. Oh my God. It's like liquid metal. Like seriously. Um, let me grab a wipe for my hand. And um, so yeah. So that little sample lasted me a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it with a beauty blender. Um, I have my damp beauty blender that I use to put my makeup on. So I'm just going to put a couple little drops. Um, I'll put it on one end. And so then I can put the, put it there and then I'll use the color pop on the other end. But I don't know guys, but just, to, I'm just going to do one drop because again, I feel like this is going to be so intense. Get my mirror open. All right, guys. So I'm going to apply it on this cheek. Oh, you just leave it like that and go to a festival. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Now, the other great thing with these custom drops is that you can apply them to your foundation. Um, if you want to have like that all over glow, so I'm going to use my hand, but look at that. That is crazy. And this is just from one itty bitty, itty bitty little drop. 
Um, it does dry down a little quick, so that's why I'm kind of having to use my fingers a little bit. But I think having my be damp beauty blender is helping. So, you yeah. know. That is so crazy. But I love it. Now like that it's a little bit more diffused. So really this is kind of the cool thing is that with these, if you want kind of just a more diffused look, even though like I've blended it out with the beauty blender with my fingers, like it's still really intense. Like you can see it. But anyway, um, I have mixed these with my foundation before and put it like all over. What I loved about it, it kind of, it gave me just that summery glow. It didn't, I, um, make me look like, like I had on full, like I'm about to go to a Raiders game kind of thing, like metallic. Um, so that was cool. But yeah, I'm loving this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now let's see. Okay, so I'm so excited. I feel like I'm like getting ahead of myself. So rain it in, Fran. But that is the cover effects. So now let me open up the ColourPop. And first, let's see if the colors are somewhat similar because that's going to be something that we'll have to take into account and then kind of just swatch it and go from there. Okay, be right back. Okay, so here is the color pop. Um, I got the color Amethyst, the crystal liquid highlighter. At the time, I believe Amethyst and was one of the only ones they had left, which is why I purchased it. And... Um, I haven't opened or swatched this, so bear with me here. And so, the only thing I will say with these that I saw online is that it's very like, like in the bottle. I don't know if I see if I can get this to focus on. It just looks so white. So I'm hoping it doesn't leave like a white cast. Let me just shake it up a little bit. Um, so it says for a crystal infused glow, use one to two pumps, apply on the face using your fingers or brush or mix me with your foundation or moisturizer for an all radiant look. Shake it up, which I'm doing. Um, so let's take a look. So let me swatch it on my hands. So I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't apply this with a beauty blender since it's saying with a brush, but you know what? Just to give it a fair shot with uh, color effects, I am gonna apply it with the Beauty Blender just to put it on, and then I'll use my fingers like I did with the cover effects. But let's let's see how this swatches. Oh, I just like shot out. Okay, so this is really liquidy. That's super liquidy. Definitely not as metallic. The consistency is a little oily. And yeah, definitely nowhere near the same color. This definitely, I mean, given the name Amethyst, it's gonna have more of a purple undertone. But we'll see how this dries down because Seeing it on my hand is just so wet, wet looking. So, um, hmm, okay. But I'm not going to judge it yet until it's applied to the skin and on the face because you just never know. So with that being said, so this was the side I used the cover fix on. So I'm going to go on the other side here and I'm going to try to just get one squirt you see, the one thing I do not like is that so much like comes out. The cover effects went a little better because you're at the, with the squeezers. I don't want to put too much of this on because it seems like it's a more watery consistency or oily consistency than the cover effects one, and I do not need that on my makeup. So let's see here. This, that... Okay, so let me just use my fingers now. I mean, the purple 
ness of it is okay. I mean, I don't mind it. I'm not like completely hating it. It's definitely not as metallic or glowy as the cover effects one. I don't know if I mean, it has a pretty sheen to it. It's definitely not as intense as the cover effects. I was a little worried about the consistency because on my hand, like, it's still wet. Like, I don't know if you can see that, see how wet that is. And as you can see, like, the cover effects one is already dry. Uh, so I was worried that it would, like, move things around. But it's not bad. It's um, once it's on the face, it seems like it blends in nicely. I could see why they say to use your finger because with the sponge, it wasn't doing anything. Um, but once I got my finger, I was able to diffuse it. Uh, for both of these products, I would say a little goes a long way. If you're wanting more of like a subtle glow, I would say the ColourPop one is nice. Um, they glow both really nicely, but definitely the ColourPop is just kind of more subtle. And then the cover effects is more like bam metallic. So they're both really, really pretty. Um, I would say I like them both for different reasons. I, like I mentioned, the cover effects is just boom in your face, glow. Um, I've used it before to mix in with my foundation and I've loved it. Um, the consistency I like a lot better than the ColourPop one. ColourPop one is a little bit more oily, it feels like, so I'm not sure how I would feel about mixing that in with a foundation, because I don't know if that would make the foundation um, separate or anything like that. But I mean, I'm willing to give it a go and just to see how it does, or even it does say, you know, put in your favorite moisturizer, so maybe I can try that instead and um, see how that feels. But as of now, I'd rather use the cover effects for my foundation, for my foundation, also when I got an accent, for my foundation um, versus the ColourPop. But they're both really pretty. I mean, honestly, if you don't have the $42 splurge, I would say go with the ColourPop. If you don't want something that has the purple sheen to it, um, they do have other um, colors. I really need to work on saying I'm um, so damn much. Sorry guys. So they do have other colors available on their website. So, and I did check before I filmed this video and it looks like they were completely stocked on, on this line. So definitely check that out. Again, it's only $9. And then if you're willing to splurge a little bit, the cover effects, custom enhancement drops, long ass name. Um, again, you can't go wrong with these. These are an amazing product. They have so many different colors. Um, Again, the color that I got was Moonlight. Um, another one that they have, I believe Celestial, is more um, even more of a silver tone than this one. And then they have a ton of them. They also came up with like a um, hollow one, which really wasn't very hollow, which honestly I was debating if that was going to be more similar to this color pop, and I think it probably would have been, except that one was kind of seemed like it did more of a blue sheen to it than this purple. But I'm not mad at this purple. I've never tried a purple or lavender based highlighter, so this one's definitely going to be a fun one to play with. So again, I'm not angry at either one of these products. I think they're both fun and great in their own ways. So is it an exact dupe for cover effects? Definitely not because the formula and everything is so different, but it's definitely up there that if you want to play with a, high, a liquid highlighter, the ColourPop is one that you could definitely have some fun with. I'm hoping that they'll come up with different shades, maybe something more similar to the cover effects that has the more metallic and not this, the white, the white base that this has. So maybe they'll um, they'll do that. That would be kind of nice. Uh, I could definitely see ColourPop coming up with something like that. So we'll see. We'll see what they have in the future for us. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's kind of short and sweet. Um, I, like I said, I just kind of wanted to show on how both of these worked and see if they were a dupe. In my opinion, it's not exact. It's like I said just a few seconds ago, it's not an exact dupe, but it's pretty high up there. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm sorry I keep repeating myself and rambling. It's been kind of a crazy day. But as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate you guys, you wa you guys watching. And feel free to comment, subscribe, like, 
follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I will link all that below. I'll also link the info on both of these products. And yeah, if there's anything else that you guys see out there, any dupes or anything that might look similar to a product and you want me to check it out, definitely hit me up. Let me know. I love feedback. So again, thanks you guys. Love y'all. Bye.